Well, welcome back to a new video. Now today, I'm going to be doing a bike review on the C100 V2 Concrete Grey, the 2021 edition, because there's a few things that are different to this one than the prior releases of the C100 V2. So I'm going to go over some of the parts that um, you're going to be expecting to get on your V2s compared to before. Now, I know obviously mine's like a little bit upgraded and it's got a couple of uh, different parts in it but I'm just going to be showing you like the main things so let's get straight into it now it's going to be a quick video but if you're not already subscribed don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications I have got a video that I've already recorded today that'll be out tomorrow which is me riding okay so first things first is you're going to get these uh, which just come stock on the C100 V2. They've come stock on the V2 ever since the bike came before my storage died. They're not too good for swerves or really. They're just like stock tyres, nice and cheap. So I'd recommend if you do get a V2 or um, a um, Pro, you should probably get some hook ones because I think Pro comes with um, thick slicks, but they're not the best for swerves really because they skid out. So one thing that's going to be all right, well my storage keeps on dying, I don't know why because I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there, but if it does it again I'll probably just won't record the video, but fingers crossed it can do it again. Well if you've seen it now, it's clearly worked. So it comes with a 10 speed cassette which is decent, and it comes with this Dior derailleur, mine's already a bit scratched and a bit bent from when the car incident happened, but it's all good. So you're going to get these, this whole set here, stock for £600, which is uh, pretty decent. It comes with these Shimano MT400 brakes, which is very similar to the MT200. Oh, there's one here. This is an MT200. MT200's levers just feel a lot nicer in general. Um, but the MT400 isn't too bad. So the one problem, and you're going to want to have a seat ready for your V2 when it comes, because it comes with an MTB seat, so it's all full for combos. But um, if you're just riding around, it's not too bad, I suppose. But I got this black wheelie seat, which you can buy on eBay. Um, and they're only like 20 quid. If you just search up wheelie seat on eBay, they'll come up. So it does come with these forks, which have a hit and miss. Some people say they work all right, and some people say they come and they don't really work at all, which are SR Suntour forks. And my, my personal experience is the lockouts work on them decent, and they're just an all-round decent pair of forks, and they're not too bad. So next thing is these bars and stem. The bars and stem look pretty nice. It's got a little Collective Bikes logo here and it says Collective Bikes along here. Um, the bars are pretty wide, pretty good for swerves and combos, but and the stem is like all right, but the top cap's a bit weird, so you need to get a new stem if you want to get a Hope top cap and bolt, which is kind of annoying. Um, the bike does come with a very wide headset, like the head bit here is massive. Um, but mine's got a little bit of a gap here and that just came loose which is a bit annoying so I'm gonna have to get that tightened up um, when I next go to my dad's because that's where my tools are um, I put a bit of grip tape on here just to stop me slipping off the frame and to also stop scratches although some of them are already coming through a little bit which is a bit annoying um, yeah the bike comes pretty decent I've already done a video unboxing it if you want to go check that out it's a uh, my, one of my more recent ones when I, it's called like I got a new wheelie bike or something like that um, but I believe you I don't know if you can take off this chain ring I I, I don't know if you can but um, wait let's see we'll find out or oh, get my tootsies out of the camera you can't, you can't you can't replace it so it, I'm pretty sure it just comes with a current set there might be a way you can, but I don't think it's Allen key bolted together. Like um, the Z cranks, I think the Z cranks might come the same actually, but some of them you can take the um, chain ring off, but I think that might be come might come with the cranks. So it'll be a bit annoying if I get a bent chain ring, because it probably means I'll need to get new cranks. And also you get, oh, here's the stock pedals. Um, these Welgo pedals are what come on the bike, but I put these Black Mafia pedals on because I just like them and I think they're really comfortable. And good on any bike pretty much. A uh, good thing about the bike is it's got this clutch on it so you can turn it on and off for whatever reason. Uh, I keep mine on but usually but there might be a reason why you want to keep it off and it basically stops this from going all slack and stuff so it's a pretty decent um, derailleur for the price of the bike. Um, yeah there's not really too much else to say about the bike. It came really quick, it came in about a day and yeah 
if you are looking to buy it, I'd say it's pretty good value. Um, I'm not going to say exactly how I got it, but I didn't, be, I didn't pay 600 so big shout out to Collective for that. Um, and yeah, oh, another thing, it comes with a quick release um, thing, so if you're in a dodgy area and yeah, you want your seat, don't want your seat to get robbed, you probably do want to change that to Allen Key. But at the same time, like there's benefits and negatives of a quick release, and after riding for a bit, you'll decide, you can probably decide yourself whether you want to get a quick release one or whether you want to keep the Allen Key one. It's all kind of dependent, really, on the person. So, yeah. Not really too much else to say about the C100. I'm really liking it so far. I've had it for about a week. Um, and it's coming along nice already. You've got the seat and the pedals, but need a new back wheel. But I'm just going to get front and back together. When I have the money, I'm going to get a pair of Hope ones. So you'll see what they look like when they come. But the website I'm ordering them off say they take eight weeks to build, and I'm probably going to order them in about three or four weeks so it's going to be a while till they get here probably going to be the end of summer but um that's not too much of a problem really because i've still got my mafia that i can ride but yeah i am really happy with the c100 and i've got big plans for this bike so leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications i'm going to start trying to post at least four or five times a week now so you should uh turn on the notes um because you don't want to miss out videos because I'm actually going to start posting. Another little thing I did is I put grip tape here. Little top tip. This feels so nice when you have a bit of grip tape on your gear shifter. It feels really uh, comfortable and really nice. I wouldn't recommend you put it on the brake because you use the brake so much. You're always like that. So it's just going to like probably end up rubbing your skin off. But as it goes for gear shifter, it feels so nice putting a bit of grip tape there. So... I'm not going to say any more about the bike. Thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And let's get into some cinematics.